In this video, I just wanted to go over all the unique containers in Tarkov and their uses. For now, we have a limited number of containers, which will probably increase in future updates. I hope this video helps you, and I will talk to you all later. If you have a Founders Pack that includes the pistol case, this will probably be the first non-secure container that you can get. It carries pistols, magazines, and ammunition. It's a 2x2 container that has a capacity of 3x3, making it very useful if you have pistols that you often use in raids. The weapons case can be purchased for about 8,000 euros from Skier. It is by far my favorite case out of all of them. The weapon case takes up the space of only one full-size weapon, but can hold five in total. I recommend grinding the money for this case first, so you can hold five weapons in a small space. The money case is pretty straightforward. It holds money. The money case can be obtained from therapists for one Rolex watch and four gold chains. Both can be found in safes on every map. In the game's current state, the money inside the case cannot be used with the traders. It needs to be removed from the case beforehand. This will most likely change very shortly within the next couple of patches. The items case is the biggest of all the cases in Escape from Tarkov, however it is the most expensive at about 12,000 euros. It can also hold 5 full size weapons like the weapon case, but it is most commonly used for holding armor. It takes up a 4x4 area in your stash, or the size of one Ford armor, but it can hold 4 Ford armors with an 8x8 capacity. The items case cannot carry any other container, so backpacks or vests cannot be stored inside. Now moving on to the secure containers. Secure containers can be used inside a raid and their contents will not be lost upon death. The smallest container is the Alpha Container, which has a 4 slot capacity. On screen you can see my recommended setup with this container, however it is just personal preference and you should try to experiment with the items that suit you. The next size up is the Beta Container, which can be purchased from Peacekeeper for around 5000 USD. It is a good choice for players who only have the Alpha Container to purchase this case once you get enough money. The container has a capacity of 6 slots, 2 more than the Alpha Container, so I suggest filling the extra slots with medical equipment. The Gamma Container can hold 9 slots, making it the best container in the terms of capacity. The container can be obtained by purchasing one of the high value founders packs on the website, but in the near future, similar containers will be available to everyone. If you have a friend who has one of these containers and who is resetting their account, ask them to drop it for you. The container will remain in your stash until a full wipe of all stashes. The last container in Tarkov is the Epsilon Container. This container can be obtained by completing all of the purport quests. This container is the most unique container of all in the game because of its advantage over the Gamma Container. Although the Gamma Container has one more slot, the Epsilon can carry one subsized weapon that takes up all of its slots. I personally dislike this container, but I see how it could be useful if you find a very high value subsized weapon.